Hey guys, welcome back to another slash the first in a really long time monthly makeup basket. It's been so long, I wanna bring these back. These are such a good way of showing you products that I'm loving, new things that I'm trying out. Uh, it's a mixture of skincare, gonna go through everything that's in this drawer. This is from uh, a business called Posh Organizer, I believe, they're Canadian. They sent this to me a long, long time ago and I love it very much, but let's get started. Okay, so up top I have a bunch of skincare products. Uh, also, I got my nails done for New Year's if you missed them in my last video. I'm just so obsessed. I get them done at Loft Nail Studio here in Toronto. Um, but this is the Inky List Salicylic Acid Cleanser. I've been having a lot of breakouts this month, so I've been using this and really enjoying it. It's not too harsh on my skin. Uh, and then conversely, to really kind of hydrate my skin, this is such a nice moisturizer. The texture is awesome. The Ula Henriksen Strength Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Wow, that's hard for me to say. Uh, vegan peptide, ceramides, and collagen, but the texture is almost like a balm. So it feels very hydrating, very plumping on the skin. Uh, I've been using it uh, for a little while, so I just definitely wanted to mention that. Uh, then also for skin, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm definitely going to because I feel like I haven't been to the Caribbean in years and my skin shows it. So this is the James Reed Express Glow 2.0 Facial Tan Serum. So basically you leave this on for like 20 minutes and it's supposed to tan your skin and that scares me, but I'm gonna try it. Let me know if you'd like to see that happen in an Instagram reel perhaps. Then uh, Topicals sent me these faded brightening and clearing eye masks. I love everything that Topicals has sent me. Um, they're Body Serum is one of my favorite products of all time. It's really, really good for smoothing the skin. And I saw someone use these on TikTok this morning when I was scrolling before I got out of bed because I have bad phone habits. Um, and they really did brighten someone's under eye. Like it looked significantly brighter. So I want to test those out. Um, then this is new from Burt's Bees. It's the Advanced Relief Lip Repair. And it's just sort of like a more, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just like a thicker, kind of balmy version. Feels really good on the lips, and my lips have been really dry lately. Then from Moroccan Oil, I just moisturized my hands with this. Sorry, I'm wearing a hoodie, so it's poking out. Uh, this is the Intense Nourishment Body Butter with ar Argan Oil and Hyaluronic Acid. It smells exactly like the uh, Moroccan Oil, Moroccan Oil, so if you like the smell of that, you'll love the smell of this, and it's really, really thick, feels really hydrating. Uh, then getting into makeup products, so these are all the sprays for this month. Um, I was actually in Ottawa over the holidays and for New Year's Eve, and I ran out of the Urban Decay Ultra Glow, went into Sephora, there was no Ultra Glow, okay, that was the only one that was sold out, I didn't realize that that one was popular, and then I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, and they don't have Urban Decay anymore because it was replaced by Drunk Elephant, can you believe that? Wow, never thought I'd see the day, so they only have All Night Herb in store. Anyways, I picked up this Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray 16 Hour. Not sure how I feel about this yet. I might hate the spray, but I need to keep testing it. Then, as you know, I've begun using the MAC Fix Plus between the layers of my foundation. I'm like 12 years too late on that. I uh, wanted to give this a little more, more attention just because I haven't played around with it much. Uh, the Benefit Professional Super Setter. And then I uh, also wanted to give this a try. It was given to me, uh, sent to me recently from Smashbox, the Photo Finish Endurance Breathable Setting Spray. Uh, because I love Smashbox's complexion products, so I think I love their setting spray. And so far, so good. Okay, I just realized that I didn't go collect my packages yet, but I do have the new Makeup by Mario foundation. I will be reviewing it. I also ordered the new NYX Blur foundation, so those are both coming. Um, but in here right now, I have the uh, Gucci Beauty uh, Fluid Primer, which is a, a really, really nice primer if you have oily skin, normal skin. Uh, the Natasha Denona Gen Skin Glass. This is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. I would say it's a little bit thicker, maybe a little bit more luminescent. I'm still testing that out. Uh, then another great kind of illuminating and hydrating drugstore primer is the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows. Great option for you. And then Cheekbone Beauty also sent me this uh, primer stick in Starlight. So I have not really tested this out yet. 
Uh, and then for foundation products, like I said, <clears throat> those two foundations are coming, but then I, I have been using on the day-to-day -day the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. I reviewed this a little while back. Love the coverage. Love that it has SPF 40 in there. And then I need to review this. I picked it up in Sweden in the summer and it was when I was more fair. So I think this is going to start matching me again. It's the updated version of the Chanel uh, water tint foundation. So I have to review this because like I paid enough for it. <laughs> and then concealers. Really was loving this towards the end of the year from KVD Beauty, the Apple concealer. Then I thought I would test this out again. Uh, the Overachiever concealer from Huda Beauty. A declutter is coming. So I'm testing some products out. Uh, and then I really like this concealer from Clinique, the Even Better All Over Concealer. It's a great everyday concealer, really, really comfortable under the uh, under the eyes. <clears throat> And then uh, this is the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Blush Color in Picante, I think it is. Haven't really played with this yet, but curious too. I love an orange blush. And then I got this at Sephora. I hadn't heard a thing about it. Also from KVD Beauty. It is like a gel, I'll show you, a gel bronzery kind of product bronzer contour so I have to try this out I'm so so curious okay let's get into drawer number one this is some eye products so for eyeliner uh, pretty typical for me no surprises here the benefit uh, roller liner eyeliner in black and then I also like this brown uh, the their real extreme precision liner except I think this is the black one funny enough but anyways I meant to put the brown one in there uh, recently fell in love with the Smashbox photo finish intensified 24-hour eyeshadow primer this is so good makes my eyeshadow look really really good initially uh, and last really long then I picked this up um, so one of my best friends moved to Ottawa uh, a couple of months ago so I found myself there twice in December but the first time I was in Ottawa I realized I forgot um, eyebrow brush so I couldn't use my Patrick Ta brow wax so I had to go to the drugstore and I feel like this is the best drugstore eyebrow uh, product so I picked this up from NYX. Then uh, I got a couple of items uh, sent to me from Cheekbone Beauty. They are a Canadian brand owned by an indigenous woman and the products are awesome and these are some cool new uh, I, or they're new to me anyways they've been out for a little while. Uh, Sustain Complexion pencils so I have medium five here and I tested this out today and it just gave me a nice um, little bit of coverage I just used it on a couple of acne bumps um, so so far so good on that it has like a drier texture but that is actually what I like to cover up but it's not dry in the way that it doesn't um, like it, you can still blend it into your skin really nicely um, then for mascaras, oh, I didn't really bring out many mascaras. Okay, I only have two here. Uh, but this is the one I've been using a lot lately. Uh, the Rimmel London Wonder Luxe Volume. Really love this mascara. It gives you tons of volume. It's kind of like a wet black formula. Really great drugstore. Love Rimmel mascaras. And then I also love Essence Mascara. So I saw this and had to grab it at Shoppers. This is the Essence Lash Like a Boss. <laughs> wow, that's... That's a name. Um, instant volume and length mascara. I have not tried this out, so I'm going to try it out for an Instagram reel. So we shall see how that goes. And then I have a very dirty, whoopsie, sorry guys, um, a very dirty Benefit 24 hour brow setter. No surprise there. But then I also saw this from Essence, the Fix It Like a Boss Transparent Brow Fixing Gel. So I've tried this once. It's definitely trying to do the brow lamination thing. Not totally sure how I feel about it yet. Uh, formula, I might be into brush. I don't think I love, but we'll be testing this all out. Okay, not a ton going on in this drawer, but I have my two uh, liquid highlighters. The first is Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the uh, liquid kilowatt highlighter in Hustla Baby. I love the powder version of this so I really do enjoy this and kind of forgot about it. It's actually in here from my last monthly ma makeup basket uh, and then this is my like favorite highlighter of all time. Obviously we'll use the Refi Gloss Highlighter in Topaz. Highly recommend that. Talked about that at length throughout the year and in my Best of Beauty 2022. Uh, then I grabbed this Tatcha Silk Powder just solely because I have not used it much and I paid a lot of money for it so I should use it 
and see how I feel about it. Uh, then I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which I'll be testing out um, on my face and under my eyes, see how that goes. And then I recently grabbed for this Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation, so I've been setting my makeup with this as of like two days ago. And then I talked about this as well in my Best of Beauty, uh, the Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Powder. People use this in a multitude of ways, but I have to say I really quite like it as a setting powder, even though it does have this highlighty bit uh, all mixed together and all over my face. I do, I do like the finish of it. Okay, zoom out a bit for this drawer. <clears throat> This is blushes, highlights, bronzers. Uh, so starting with blushes, my favorite blush, the Buxom um, Mykonos blush, Wanderlust. This is a blush I wear all the time. It's a favorite. And then I really love this, oh my god, it's white makeup. Uh, makeup by Mario, uh, soft pop powder blush in poppy pink. Really fun pink blush. I really do love the way this looks on the way this looks on the cheeks it's really pink but it's still quite warm and then that is it for blushes then I have this Laura Mercier highlighter I'm very curious to try this out on my skin it's the blush color infusion in peach shimmer also if you can hear Rue in the background she's snoring up a storm and I also have like the tail end of the flu by the way so I'm congested but I think that's gonna be really pretty on my cheeks, maybe my eyes as well. So we'll see about that. Then I grabbed the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter. This is just a really great, easy, everyday kind of highlighter. Thought I would grab out this fancy Nude Glow from Dior. Show you what that looks like. A Little bit of a different shade for me, but I actually love the way it looks on my skin. Then I grabbed this at Walmart at some point the hard candy instant summer natural bronzer so I thought I would give this a go house labs mentioned this in my best of beauty I love this for my eyes and my face um, solely because the packaging is so nice I thought I would use this uh, remember this collection with Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham this is like weighty and gorgeous um, so I thought I would use her uh, another makeup by Mario this highlighter I've been into like a really warm highlighter lately uh, and sort of doing this as a blush topper it's in the shade bronze and that's everything in here onto the lippies or no wait I have a couple things down here down here for the eyes okay so I used this in my best of beauty loved the look I used the greens in here Natasha Denona Zendo palette I definitely want to make some use of this I love the shades in here so warm they're buttery and gorgeous flow equilibrium Yama oh my god they're delicious and then Kylie is starting to win me over. Some of her makeup's quite nice, I have to say. Um, but this palette, again, the shades really, really appeal to me. Um, these kind of like oh she cute, you're welcome, just really warm, peachy, gorgeous shades. Uh, this is the Oppressed Powder palette. Mm. Oh, by the way, these two are face pigments. I don't know what she's calling this, but anyways, really pretty. And then this is the Laura Mercier powder I've been using under my eyes all the time. Uh, the Ultra Loose, or sorry, Ultra Blur Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Uh, and then this is also in here from my last, my last um, makeup basket, but I don't know, this looks like it's going to be a little deep for me. Ultra Setting Powder. The texture is really nice, but I think this is a little deep for me. It's in the shade number four, tan neutral, but... We'll see. Starting uh, up here for my lip products, this is the uh, ColourPop BFF3 lip liner. No surprise there, my favorite lip liner of all time. Uh, the next one there is this Rare Beauty lip pencil and it's in the shade Gifted. It's just a little bit kind of, of a rosy shade. The next to that, this is Jason Wu in Gingerbread. This is a new brand available at uh, Shoppers Drug Mart now. The packaging is really nice, kind of soft touch NARS vibes. And then Clinique Black Honey right here. I really actually love the gloss. If you saw my recent lip swatch video on Instagram or TikTok. So I thought I would try out the lipstick. It's, you know, very iconic for a reason. Then this is the NARS Power Matte Lipstick in Tease Me. I think it's such a pretty kind of coral shade. 
Then I've been wearing a lot of these Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks. This is Immortal Rosewood. It's one that I wear all the time, just sort of all over the lips. Really comfortable. Uh, and then this one right here, one of my favorite deep shades from Sephora. Uh, this is 24. Uh, I also love the shade 54. I grab for them <laughs> both. I actually meant to get 54, but 24 is good too. Uh, and then next to that, NARS Get It On. This is one of my favorite nude liquid lipsticks. Normally we'll pair that with the ColourPop BF3. Uh, next to that, a great easy pink from Merit. I think it's called Millennial Pink, so on brand for me as I am a millennial. And then lastly here, uh, this kind of glossy bronze is uh, from Cheekbone Beauty as well. What is this called? The Shimmer Moonlight. Uh, so you can see there in the packaging, really pretty nice shimmer there, but it's not like a chunky kind of shimmer. But that is everything. Let me know what you're intrigued about. Let me know what you'd like to see more about. And let me know if you want more of these. I will do this at the beginning of every month if you are interested. But if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at SamanthaJMYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!